<laughs> Ram gang. We in this in this thing I say up uh, Ram uh, uh, gang. We in this in this thing I say up uh, Ram uh, uh, gang. We in this in this thing I say up uh, Ram uh, uh, gang. We in this in this thing I say uh it's our uh we be talking about them Aries. What you doing if you ain't looking for no Aries? We stay turned up, we be talking about them Aries. Gang, gang, we be talking about them Aries. What's up, gang, gang? What's up, baby? What's going on in the life of gang, gang for mid-month September to the end of September 2018? Hmm, hmm. Is y'all in y'all feelings? <laughs> so deep in your feelings. Yes. Aries, very meditative, very centered, getting grounded, <laughs> walking away from that old oh shit <laughs> to that new new ish. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the Mogul Love Tarot channel. If this is your first time viewing my channel, hey boo hey. Um, I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say, okay? Uh, so all of my old and new subscribers, y'all, welcome to the family, y'all. And also, y'all, I've missed y'all so much. I've been out here just really trying to get it together, rebuild, restructure all of the embracing of the reads, okay? So for everybody who sent me emails, text messages, Mocha, you good? Because it's been a while. Yes, I'm great, okay? I'm actually restructuring me. You know you glow up different when you in a happy space, okay? Y'all see me? <laughs> I don't got to be too much on Pimple Patrol. <laughs> All right. So this will be my for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sign of Aries. Okay. This is not a personal. It's a general. Okay. So if you do need a personal, hit me up. I do have a $10, 10 minute reading special for one question. Okay. For $10 in 10 minutes. Okay. Um, until the 15th of September. Right. So we rock it. So if you need the personal, hit me up. But I also do have other readings available. All that information can be found within the description. Below, because I worked hard on that shit, okay? I was not a techie, techie person. I'm learning to be a techie, techie, okay? Three, restructuring, rebalancing, and relearning some shit, okay, that they taught me in school, but I was too busy skipping. We're not going to get on that, okay? We ain't talking about me. We talking about Aries, not just this one, okay? So, <laughs> we rocking. All right, this will be from the 15th to the 30th of September. Y'all know how we rocking. We're going to start off with the Crystal Angels Oracle Card message from Doreen Virtue, okay? And I was actually praying and meditating, y'all, and intuitively what I got was I deserve better. I am better. <laughs> I had to go through that to make me better. And instead of fearing who or what I can be, I'm going to move towards better. Even if it's in a place of unknowing, unknowingness, okay? Or for that matter, even if I got to be alone, I accept that. Because if I could take care of my damn self through loneliness and I can nurture myself back to wholeness after being in such a dark, lonely place, to find that power within myself to tell myself that I am not alone. For I am protected, and man's rejection is God's protection. <laughs> I am powerful because I am in power of what it is that I create. We are master manifestors, so it starts within the mind. Amethyst, amethyst for Aries during this um, this mid month is going to be very soothing for those of you who do not use crystals, who like candles and scents and shit, because I like it all. Okay. Lavender candles will be your best friend, okay? So we rocking. The message that you guys pulled was a pop light, okay? It says, increase support. Your positive focus and willingness to receive have opened the doorway to an abundance of help and opportunities, okay? So get out your own way with the pridefulness, some of you Aries. Don't say, do you need help with it? Yes, yes, I do. Because if you help me, that is less work and less burdens that I feel in the mind that I have to carry. So be allowing because the universe, God, the creator, spirit, your divine guidance, your angels, your ancestors, they're trying to give back unto you. You worked hard. You deserve it, my darling. Okay? So let's get it. Increased support. This card is a wonderful sign that you receive an increased support so that your needs are being met. 
The support may take the form of abundance, emotional comfort, or relief from some of your responsibilities, giving you more time to focus upon your priorities. God is heard and is answering your prayers, which may involve you receiving intuition or ideas to take positive action. Be sure to do so, so that you won't miss the blessings being offered to you. These divinely guided actions could include making healthful lifestyle changes such as improving your exercise, sleep, or eating habits to raise your spiritual vibration, which will in turn attract higher outcomes. This is also encouragement for you to ask for support from God, your loved ones, or compassion or, or compassionate therapists, or to join a support group, okay? So even though Aries is a natural energy of the self, okay, right now is the time to be open to others, okay? Be that of like, be, be more dual, dual, okay? Be more compromising, okay? Be more accepting. Don't be prideful, Aries. And I'm hearing don't be prideful, Aries, literally. So don't be prideful, Aries, okay? During this time, Mother wanted to speak to you guys. A lot of you are doing a lot of self-reflecting, and it's helping you to balance the mind, body, and soul and spirit. Because, one, I do feel the, the, the energy of a lot of Aries may be seeing 333. Three, three, because in my third eye, I do see 333. And I feel like it has to do with the Trinity, the mind, body, and spirit, okay? They're aligning during this time. And I'm also seeing that here. A lot of you may be um, guided intuitively to center yourself, okay, and focus more so on the root chakra, the I am, as it's Aries' natural, uh, natural chakra, okay? Because I cannot think of the words. My words have been stuck for the last two days, y'all. <laughs> So bear with me, okay? The retrograde is going and I'm still all fucked up, okay? So I do see some of you guys are also possibly aligning. Some of you guys are possibly dealing with the twin flame during this time. And we'll be dealing with the twin flame during this um, the end of September, the mid to end of September. I do see you're dealing with definitely a soulmate that I feel like this is more so past energy that kind of made you go into this self-reflective mode, okay? There was someone who really, really hurt you, I feel, Aries. And it was a period in your life where you were feeling very remorseful through this. But this person really kind of makes you battle your, your shadow side. Some of y'all are going to be dealing with, and this person could also be um, a water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, as well as a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, like yourself. But I feel like, Aries, a lot of y'all are nurturing yourselves. And really, in the midst of nurturing yourselves, situations are going to be coming to the forefront during this time because your intuition is crazy. Some of y'all know somebody's coming. You feel it with everything in your soul. But this person hasn't really manifest, manifested in the surface. They coming, okay? They's coming. You're getting ready to see how powerful that mind of yours is. During this time, really trust yourself because your intuition is at a very heightened place, okay? Your instincts are very kind of like animalistic, I would say. I'm not calling you an animal, you know, for the sensitive. Just saying they're animalistic. You trust your instincts. Trust that gut feeling that you have. Trust what you feel. And also be recognizable be in in tune with what you feel and when you feel that because it's going to be very necessary for you okay i do see during this time a lot of you need to get out in nature i feel like some of y'all bodies is mad as hell at y'all you need to work the hell out okay yeah i'm aries too you see me talking to myself <laughs> yeah i'm talking to myself i know when to eat my shit all right but some of y'all you need to work out us Okay, <laughs> this is journey us need to work out more. Okay, um, you're gonna. I feel like with this, and also, spirit is wanting me to tell you a lot of you guys during this time will be having headaches with the third eye. Some of you are new to this journey. Okay, so I feel like more so up in here. I don't know what it's called, so I'm gonna draw you an illustration on my head. I'm here. I'm hella empathic, so I want to get past this quickly. Here. Around here, okay, and here, a lot of y'all are going to be having headaches and pains, okay, maybe having experiencing that during this time. Spirit is saying you need to drink more water and eat more berries, strawberries, blueberries to be exact, bananas for some people because I'm feeling like I'm talking to somebody who's very iron deficient as well. You need to eat more bananas because if not, and this is somebody who's iron deficient and they play sports. You better listen to your body because your body been on your ass. And during this time, you really better listen to your body, especially if you have something coming up where you have some type of event. Because I'm seeing a lot of cheering. This could be track or something like that. It could be someone running, some some type of running. This could even be y'all children. If you have iron deficient children, feed them bananas during this time. Okay. Um. 
Also, um, some of you guys will be uh, receiving some form of communication. This could be from a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And it's going to be helping you to move forward to even make a decision. I feel like with some of y'all, I'm talking to your damn shadow side. Here we go. All right. For some of you people, some of you Aries. Okay. <laughs> My babies. I feel like for some of you, you're going to receive communication. And I feel like in the past, some of y'all wanted this communication. But now that you've been transforming, now it's like you really don't give a damn if you get it or you don't. Okay. And someone very toxic from your past is going to be coming back. I see that very strongly. For some of y'all, it's Capricorn. For some of y'all, it's a Scorpio. But it's going to be, a, it's only reason why this is, you're attracting this is because you're putting out the energy, baby, to nurture yourself. Okay, a lot of y'all heart chakra during this time is popping, which is what causes this soulmate energy in. Okay, for some of you it's a twin, for some of you it's a soulmate, but for it's definitely someone I feel like who makes you be reflective and helps you to heal through deep rooted issues. Okay, and this is also going to assist you in dealing with this toxic person that's coming back as well, because there was once a point in time when Aries was in this energy. Okay, what do I do? What am I going to do? You do literally drove yourself crazy, created an entity of fear, doubt within yourself. You lost yourself in an individual in the past. For some of y'all, it was a place. For some of y'all, it was some type of structure, some type of family structure. And God is giving you the opportunity, baby, to choose to heal from that. Healing with it doesn't. Healing from it doesn't mean you gotta be in his face all the time. What's up? What's popping? Here I am. And 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 because you create that whatever that is that power over you. You get what I'm saying? When you feel like you're needed or you're needing to be accepted by this, okay? Or this person, or this thing, whatever, okay? Because Aries, it's time for us to get out of this energy of what once was. Because we're accumulating our cups. We still got two cups. Guess what? And if we choose to cross these waters and move past that shit, more cups are coming. You just have to know it. Because you are the great I am. All right. Aries, during this time, a lot of you guys are going to be just working on yourself. Some of you who are married... You may have felt rejected or walked away from your partner, especially if you walked away from your partner in the past. I'm feeling like in the past eight months, eight weeks, okay? You feel like this person just won't see me. I'm hearing that he just won't see me. And I know this is a woman. He won't see me. You feel like this person just won't see you, so you decide to fuck it. I'm going to go see myself. And in the midst of that, well, some of you have financial blockages. They are lifted during this time. Congratulations. We are graduating, baby. But you definitely got to fight for you against your shadow self during this time. All right. Can you please show me what can my Aries expect between the 15th and the 30th of September? Hallelujah. Here we go. Aries. Thank you, Spirit. Some of you walking away from possibly a Scorpio and just focusing on your money, okay? During this time, it's going to kind of put you back in your power, put you back on your throne seat. I felt like in the past, Aries, somebody felt like or made you feel like you weren't enough, okay? And during this time, this person is going to try to resurrect what you felt in your spirit was dead, and now you just focus on your money. So you're just possibly going to forgive this person. They're going to make an offer, you know, Aries, I miss you. I love you. I want to love on you. And you're going to be like, look, I'm chasing my shmoney bag. Yeah, I could have love. I really could. And for some of y'all, get out your head because that 10th pinnacle is coming. If only you be more allowing to it during this time, okay? I'm hearing allow it, allow it, allow it. Aries, some of y'all, <laughs> some of y'all have another Aries, okay? This part, this could be in their sun, their moon. I've seen a lot of moons. This could be their moon, okay? This person wants marriage with you, okay? Some of y'all can have a very arrogant ass Taurus, okay? For some of you, you love this person, but you had to walk away from them and focus on yourself, okay? But intuitively, you feel that they coming back, here they come. But for some of them, they come in with some extra baggage, okay? Um, possibly, uh, they possibly went out with their toxic ass behavior. This could be connected to, I feel like, a water sign or air sign. They went out to go find, they had some fake ass grass over there. Now they want to come back, but they could be bringing excess children. And you're going to find out that they bring in excess children that they lied to you about, possibly telling you that, they say, you know, the child didn't exist. Y'all going to get some truth about something being birthed during this time. And for some of y'all, you're having to battle your shadow self because you're going to need to keep your cool, Aries. I'm seeing someone very angry, damn near ready to flip a car over. So I'm going to need y'all to be cool, okay? Be cool. What you mad for? Look at all of this beauty that you've created yourself in your own world. What you mad for? Some of y'all are going to find out, especially if you were dealing with the Scorpio or a... um. Capricorn towards Virgo, strong strong Taurus and strong Scorpio vibes, y'all. This could also be a cancer. Some of y'all going to find out that someone got married behind your back, Aries, or that someone was married, and you had no idea of this. But I feel like 
Some of y'all keep attracting the same type of people because you are allowing and you're not allowing yourself to really heal from that vibration of being accepting to shit that is that you know is beneath you to accept in the first place. Period. Some of y'all trust your intuition about what you felt the first time about a baby and somebody leaving you out in the cold. Because someone left you out and when they left you out in the cold, their money, they some of y'all could have actually got left out in the cold. For an earth sign, okay, who possibly had more money than you, or somebody thought they was big shit and started making more money and got a little ahead of themselves, okay? And it's definitely someone from your past. This could also be a water sign, okay? Uh, but I feel like this person, this person is doing the comeback in victim mode, and a lot of y'all have recognized that shit. You know what it looked like. You've been there, wrote that book, and, and, and wrote that story, and got the t shirt. So you know how to recognize this from a damn, from a hundred yards away. Keep that shit over there. Keep that drama for your mama. I don't want it. Ooh -hoo, I don't want it. Okay. Some of y'all are going to receive a communication possibly from a Capricorn, a Libra, a Cancer, or another Aries. And this person kind of wants to move past what was once in the past. But some of y'all going to be <laughs> bag, 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 bag. What? Give me 50 feet. <laughs> Give me 50 feet. But Aries, for some of you all. This is just the lad. This is the straw that broke the camel's back in order for you to move on and close that cycle. Because Aries, for some of y'all, you got to get to the shmoney. You got to get to the shmoney. Spirit is calling. We are spiritual teachers. Anybody who is moving in any type of counseling, um, spiritual teaching, music, any type of creative arts, passion, baby, Mars is back, transiting. You better go get it. Let the energies work for you and be allowing and be accepting because you got some shmoney to get to. For some of you, you have a Leo coming back in. And this Leo coming back in, Nate is not taking no for an answer. Okay? Yeah. Told you. Some of y'all got Leo finna really try to hold on to you. Finna try to hold on to you. They finna try and buy you diamonds and pearls. Because they say, Aries, I see now that you're the one. You deserve it. I had to go find out that the grass wasn't green on the other side. I want something new with you. Some of you, you can sit in this energy. Okay, because for some of y'all, I feel like this person is coming with a little baggage. Okay, they come in and it's like, you wanted this for so long, but now that it's here, you just like, no, I've seen harmony within myself, okay? Because of your devilish ass behavior, I found harmony within myself. This is the number 15, six being the number of harmony. Your devilistic shit helped me find harmony within myself. And for some of y'all, you got a Pisces coming. Just be patient. Because I poured love, my love, my light into my own cup. Okay? I found what it is that I deserve. So some of you guys... You have a Pisces or a Sagittarius coming that wants to fix things. And they want to offer you new beginnings. They may even try to hold on to you with money. I feel like for some of you, you have a children, a child with this person or children with this person. And now they want to be this family, this family guy, this family person. Because this is, for some of y'all, it's a past life relationship. It is a karmic soulmate for some of y'all. It's a past life relationship. And for some of y'all, it could be someone you have children with or someone who you've known since you were children. For some of y'all, it's definitely a Taurus. For some of y'all, it's definitely a Scorpio. But whoever Whomever this person is, they just see me watching, lurking, hiding out in them damn bushes, <laughs> hiding under your car. You know, I love Leos, but Leos, y'all is master. If you Leo, you cross watching, y'all be in, y'all be in the bushes, honey. Okay, Leos be in the bushes. <laughs> also, this could also be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, y'all, but they want something new. They actually want their family back. And for some of y'all, you have a new soulmate who just loves all on you. And you just really have a choice. Do I want that? And all the years and, you know, disappointment. It's not for you to hold on to the feelings. You know what I'm saying? It's really to hold on to the lesson. You show me who you are. And for some of y'all, you a person who got a lot of options. You know, this is a person who had a lot of options. Who just felt like another you was going to come a dime a dozen. For some of y'all, it's a Virgo. But for most of you, this 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 person coming is going to make you get in strong introspection mode, which is going to eventually call you to cause you to cut them off or be defensive toward them. And this could definitely I feel strong family vibes. This could definitely be someone who you have a family with. But you could also be moving into another structure, another family structure. For some of you, you have to choose between two. Quit looking at them ugly ass birds, okay? And 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 and, and, and choose wisely. 
Make the decision, but don't beat yourself up and live in this energy of what, what was in the past. If you have a past person, and ironically, these fell out together. So if you have a past person who kept you in this energy, with this devil energy, okay? They kept you in this, did they were in this energy, feeling like you were stuck and could not move, tied to this person. And I felt like it had to do with the mind because the chains is around their neck and above the head. Ironically, and he has the chains in his hands. So you feel like a person who has all the power of your mind in their hands to keep you in this energy, feeling like you can't move, you can't stop feeling like this is what I did. Well, maybe if I would have did something differently, but maybe because this is how they had the power, baby. Drop it. You have a choice to choose between that. Okay. And this. Someone who wants to pour their cup into your cup. And for some of you, this is in your life presently, or it will be during this time, and you're looking away. You're looking away. But if you just turn around, you see this person wanting to pour the cup, their cup, in your cup. Because both of these people, <clears throat> one of them, <laughs> one, both of them, want this energy Aries they want to unite they want to get together they want to come together in union in two it takes two to make the thing go right it takes two but one of them strong fire energy he coming <laughs> and he out he bouncing he ain't even gonna the bird ain't even gonna the bird no not even leave yo he coming right back give me some water okay this person, Aries, if you miss your blessing, you block your blessing, this person going to take this pinnacle elsewhere because you know what? You go backwards. This how you look and how you look and you're looking good. But this is the only pinnacle you need. It takes two to make it things all right. Just see him, Aries. And stop looking at once what, 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 what once was. That hurts so bad. What you learn from it? Mid month, September, it's time to make a judgment call because spirit is trying to give you both love, possibly in the form of a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or what I also seen, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and the Shmani Aries. Make this judgment though. We're looking at them damn birds. Make this judgment though. Okay? Because for some of y'all, life could be oh so swell if you would be receiving my bell. Life could be full of dish money. It could also be full of love. Unconditional love, my honey. You could have your ten of cups in the way of a water sign or an earth sign, honey. But air will possibly not be there. <laughs> Fire. Let me find my fire card. But uh, judgment, judgment is just fine because it's 20. This is two. Balance being the root. So making this judgment around the fire, you'll find that they were a liar. And you'll get the victory of love and your money. If you're thinking about starting new businesses, why not, honey? What are you afraid of? Your own success, Aries? Why? For some of you, here comes your cancer. <laughs> and for some of you, you better be careful because fertility is in the building, especially if you're dealing with the Taurus. Libra, Pisces, Virgo. Strong Pisces and Taurus vibes, though. After moving away from sneaky people, 
sneaky intentions. Your eyes are going to be working differently during this time. Get you enough sleep. Exercise. Your crown chakra is popping. Trust me, I'm an Aries, I know. <laughs> Make sure you drink a lot of water and eat a lot of berries. Move past the deceit, deception. Move past the thought, the idea of thinking and charging someone guilty of a crime that they did not commit, Aries. Okay? Nurture yourself. Whatever project that you're working on, nurture it. Because it's going to bring you great fortune. This is what I have for y'all between the now and the 30, well, the 15th and the 30th of September. Y'all comment and let me know how it resonates. Again, if you need that personal, if you do want to get in on the 10 minute, 10, 10 minute, $10 reading, hit me up, email me. All of that information will be in the description. But all right, gang, gang, that's what I have for y'all. I love y'all. Talk to y'all again on the 1st of October. Hmm. <laughs>